When it comes to social media, everybody becomes a self-proclaimed expert, doling out health advice, even if you don't ask for it. But that doesn't fly for the Verify team. Online, there's a claim spreading that anything over SPF 50 actually doesn't do a better job. Now we don't want you to get burned by a myth, so let's verify and add some context about this viral claim with the help of our vetted sources. Dr. Adam Friedman, a professor and chair of dermatology at GW, and Dr. Stephen Wang from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Care. And first we should explain that according to the American Cancer Society, SPF correlates to how much protection a sunscreen offers against UVB rays. SPF 15 filters out 93% of UVB rays. SPF 30 filters 97%. 50 offers 98% and 100 is about 99%. But here's the twist. Our experts say that this is only true if you use the right amount of sunscreen, which is a shot glass full. This is based on the assumption that people apply a very large amount of sunscreen, which they absolutely do not. So while technically above an SPF 50, you're not gonna get that much more protection from UVB. However, because people don't apply enough, there is this dilutional effect. And so applying, for example, 100 ends up being like a 50. A 50 ends up more being like a 25. So that's where the higher SPFs might be helpful. In fact, Dr. Wang says that most people use less than a third of what they actually should be using and adds that all things being equal, you should opt for that higher SPF because more coverage is more coverage. Now, whether the difference between SPF 50 and SPF 100 is big depends on how you look at it. If you're comparing 98% of protection to 99%, it may seem teeny. But if you're saying it lets in 2% of UVB rays versus 1%, bumping up the SPF means you're cutting your sun damage in half. So in the end, both our experts agree that higher SPF is useful, especially because most people just don't put enough sunscreen on in the first place. Here at Hope Beach, this is Evan Kozlov with your Verify.